Hi, I'm Peter, the instructor of this Arduino project course. This course is ideal for new Arduino makers looking for a weekend IoT challenge. I've designed this course to extend our beginner's course, Arduino Step-by-Step -step Getting Started. With Make an Arduino Environment Monitoring Gadget, you'll apply the knowledge you acquired from Arduino Step-by-Step -step Getting Started to create a simple Internet of Things device. This course aims to give you the opportunity to complete your first Arduino project that is non-trivial, combines modern hardware and software components, and includes an Internet of Things element. In designing this course, one of my core objectives was to make this project course small and focused in scope. With this project, I want to give you a quick win and bolster your confidence so that you will feel good about continuing with bigger and more complicated projects. In this lecture, I'll talk about the following. First, I'll talk about the learning objectives of the course. Next, I'll talk about the hardware and software specifications and requirements. And finally, I'll talk about the organization. But before we continue, please note that this is not an introductory course. In designing this course, I assume that you are already familiar with the Arduino. You should know how to wire up simple circuits on a breadboard and upload a sketch to your Arduino. You should also be able to read and understand simple Arduino code, install external libraries to the Arduino desktop IDE, and know how to fix simple code bugs and wiring errors. You can also read technical documentation and have the patience to learn from documentation and code samples and to apply new knowledge to your projects. If you need more training about the skills that I described, then I recommend you complete an introductory course, such as my course Arduino Step-by-Step -step Getting Started and then Coming Back. Next, let's look at the course learning objectives. As with all my courses, this course allows you to learn new soft and hard skills. What you'll ultimately learn depends on many factors that are out of my control. Your existing knowledge, aspirations, goals, and motivations greatly influence what you will learn from this course. With the term soft skills, I mean the skills that help you to troubleshoot and solve problems, analyze requirements, find high quality relevant information, and design an engineering solution to a problem that considers technical and non-technical requirements. As soft skills, I also classify the ability of a person to persevere through complex problems and self-guide without constant reliance on external support and direction. I haven't designed this course to teach you these soft skills specifically. However, you will improve on all the soft skills areas I mentioned through your exposure to technical projects with verifiable objectives. In this course, even though I have made all relevant technical decisions and have solved all related problems as part of the course design, you will witness my decision-making process and to a certain extent participate in the development process. You'll gain the most by following me in each prototyping step where you will inevitably have to struggle with and overcome unexpected bumps along the road. Now let's look at the hard technical skills you learn in this course. In this course, you'll learn to use an Arduino Uno along with these peripherals. The DHT11 sensor, the photoresistor, the 2x16 LCD display connected using the 4-bit parallel method, and the ESP01S Wi-Fi module for connectivity. You learn how to assemble those peripherals into a single circuit. You'll also learn how to calculate the appropriate fixed resistor for the photoresistor so that the light sensor readings are accurate. On the software side of the project, you learn how to write a sketch that makes use of the peripherals within the limited resource constraints of the Arduino Uno, design a web and mobile dashboard that displays sensor data and controls the Arduino. These are the technical learning objectives of the course. Now let's have a look at the course's hardware specifications and requirements. Most of the software I used in this course is conveniently part of the three-in-one IoT smart car and learning kit for Arduino by Sun Founder. This kit contains an Arduino Uno clone board and sensors, the Wi-Fi module, 
assorted resistors, wires, and the breadboard. Two items are not in the kit. A 2x16 LCD module without the I2C backpack and a 47 microfarad capacitor for the ESP01 module. You can purchase these items from SunFounder, which is convenient and price competitive, but you can also source all components from many online and offline retailers. But before you purchase any hardware, please take a few minutes to watch the following lecture, Hardware and Kit Overview, where I discuss all hardware components needed in this course in more detail. In terms of desktop software, you'll need the Arduino IDE and the browser. I assume that you already know how to use the Arduino IDE, and if not, then I recommend that you complete at least the first half of my course, Arduino Step-by-Step -step Getting Started. You will also need a free account on Blink.io, an Internet of Things platform. I'll show you how to create a project on Blink, but I'm not going to cover the more intricate details. If you are interested in the details of the Blink platform, you can look at my course Arduino Mobile Development with Blink. All the Arduino code that I show in the various lectures is available to download from the course GitHub repository, and this will save you a lot of typing and typos. Finally, let's look at the course organization. This course has four sections that take you through the 3 plus 1 prototypes and other supporting and learning content. In the first section, getting to know the hardware, you learn, or remind yourself, how to use each component in isolation. For example, you learn how to use a photoresistor and extract meaningful illuminance readings. You also learn how to use the Wi-Fi module to connect to the internet. By the end of the section, you'll know how to use the potentiometer, the photoresistor, and the DHT11 LCD and Wi-Fi modules. You will construct the circuit and write the software in the following three sections. First, in prototype zero, you'll create a simple circuit with an LED and a potentiometer. Create a web dashboard on Blink and write a sketch that makes this simple IoT gadget work. In the next section, you work on prototype one, where you add the sensors to the circuit and update the sketch and web dashboard to show the sensor data. You also create a new mobile dashboard so that you can interact with the Arduino on your mobile phone. In the next section, you work on prototype two, where you'll finish the gadget and add the LCD module so that you can see the sensor output locally. In a bonus section, at the end of the course, I'll show you the design and application of a simple PCB printed circuit board that I made to replace the prototyping breadboard. In this bonus section, you're not going to learn PCB design with KiCad, but you will see what is possible to do with KiCad once you have learned the basics of this tool. And with this, I hope you now have a clear view of what's up ahead. In the following lecture, I'll discuss the hardware you'll use in the course.